What is up guys, Rex here with a new video and today we are actually going to go and try to beat the highest stage, the most difficult stage in Doors Trial, trying to get ourselves some nice mythic charms and I'm going to see if I can actually beat those because, uh, yeah, pretty difficult I think. But before we even get into that, my server actually beat the Crystal Beetle. It was a bit weird. We did the live stream on Ulmus and well, right then people said, oh, you should attack right after the reset because, well, it could be kind of dangerous. Um, might not be there when you wake up after you went to sleep. And I was like, OK, yeah, that seems kind of like a good idea. But in, in fact, it stayed the entire day and then was beaten right after reset on the next day. So now we have him here and I'm not sure if I got a good rank. So let's see if we got a good rank here. Bam, let's go. Defeat animation there. That looks kind of cool. I always love that, that they make it like drop some treasure chest. That's really nice. And uh, which rank did we get? Let's press the button. Uh, doesn't even say that. <laughs> there's like the top 10. There's endgame in there. So that's pretty cool. And if we now tap to close, uh, we got place 15. Place 15 is pretty good. Place 15 is very nice. That looks actually cool. I didn't see that there was like this crystal on there. Oh yeah, I really want to equip that equip that frame. So we got place 15 um, right behind Mega Fungi actually. So yeah, I like that. That's pretty, pretty nice. I think we are going to equip this frame right now. Okay, of course we get the Primal Lord packs. Two nice picks here. I have to say during this season, not really any problem with Season Essence yet. It was kind of interesting. In the season before the start of the actual seasons, I had problems with that, but not right now. So, yeah. Seems, again, like a pretty decent pack. A bit on the smaller side of things, but a ton of season essence and essence in general in it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go for that. Not sure, really. I don't really need the stuff, to be honest. Um, Yeah. So, that being done, let's equip the new frame, because I really like that frame. Your inky plume has expired. All right. Which one is this, Ian? Reach VIP level 19. I didn't even know there was a frame for VIP 19. And I, yeah, I recently reached that. And we have VIP 15. I didn't know the VIP 19 frame. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I want to equip this one. Re rank within the top 500 in Primal Lord Crystal Beetle. We managed to do that. Uh, community fan art event. Also nice. Safe. I have a ton of frames here by now. Very interesting. I have to go over this in a bit. But that frame looks actually quite cool. Kind of like it. But I think right now, let's hop into the Doer's Trial. Let's see what we can do there. And uh, actually, we are still at some earlier stages. We are at stage 16. We have to get up uh, a little bit further. We have to get up to like stage 20. So which is the challenge? Uh, no more than two heroes defeated. In general, those are a bit of the tougher challenges because you have to be a little bit careful with that. And uh, we can check out the first clear here. Uh, they went with Brutus, which you can do on the later stages. You can use Brutus. The reason for that is, well, even if he's not an up hero, which sometimes heroes aren't. So Damien, for example, is not an up hero here. Brutus is not an up hero. It doesn't matter. If Brutus dies, you can still have one more hero die on the battlefield and it's no problem. And then some people, I saw a lot of sta uh, strategies actually with Damien for um, those trials with the heroes defeated because he's never defeated. So uh, that makes it a bit easier. And then he, of course, adds to the survivability of the rest of the enemies, even though, uh, I mean, he doesn't have any stat improvements here. Uh, the next thing really is uh, you have Granny in here. So you have a pretty good tank. And still, I noticed the damage in some of those stages gets so high that it becomes tough for Granny to even survive with these stat boosts. So uh, that's why a lot of people use Brutus. And of course, if we can get some more um, skill power Brutus charms, that would be kind of nice. Ultimate strength, skill power for OD. And we got the HP haste, Ooh, haste ch charm for uh, Corin. of course. Very, very nice. I kind of like that. Let's check out the next one. A mm, bit more on of the bosses here, but I think the strategy is still pretty good. We could have gone for Alsa here, lock them in a bit. Uh, would have been kind of fun. Let's try this first. Um, we also have Atalanta buffed on this stage, and I, I tried her a little bit, actually. I tried her, um, tried to clear a little bit of a few stages. Oh, we have to be careful here. Always keep a, a hand on the retry button with those stages. 
because I don't want to clear them without a perfect clear. Uh, a bit focused here. Because, yeah, did you see that? Just one ult and it nearly killed them. So I'm always a bit careful with that. Because if you don't get the perfect clear, you don't get the extra chest. And that is rather annoying, I tell you that. Um, and the numbers here, they go way up. So you can go get a quick, quick kill. And uh, those enemies, yeah, they start tanking because that is a B, not an A for billion. Quite insane how much damage they uh, they take. Mm, on this one, we are in a bit of an annoying state because we have those guys, Mr. Razors. They are annoying. They are annoying. <sighs> okay, let's try it with the same strat again. Let's have a look there if we have to adjust anything. Uh, right now, it seems decent. Still got a shield on iron, so that's good. Iron pulling them together. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That looks... That looks alright, even though we still have the bears. And those guys, they are tank. I wonder what their HP number is. We can check that out right after. What the HP number on those guys is. Um, because they are always a hassle if you have those time trials. The time trials in general feel a bit easier, though. We're at like 60 or 65 seconds to beat it. Um... But uh, they are always a hassle there, because they have such high HP values, it's on, on, honestly insane. Um, 565 billion on this one, 637 on this one, and they even healed for a ton. So, yeah. But in terms of damage, not much happening there. Was pretty clean kill, I have to say. Um, the Brutus threat really good for this one. Ooh. Ooh. Those guys are mean. Those guys are mean, because what they usually do is like, they charge over here... And then attack whoever is in the back row. So probably those guys will take out my Carolina and Arden. How did other people clear that? Hmm. Okay, interesting. And almost clear. Okay. Interesting. Didn't see that yet. A full CC almost clear. Almost not even up hero on this one. So like buffed hero. Very interesting. But we go for the full CC here. And then with some added CC heroes. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to see that. I'm eager to see that. Ulmus, already in the back row. I was just looking for him. He just got absolutely hit and then destroyed. Mm. But still, still pretty good uh, good clear, despite Ulmus not really adding to uh, the tanky side of this team, because he pretty much, right at the beginning of the fight, got punched and hit into the back row. Uh, we still were able to do a pretty insane burst on that team with Alsa and especially Carolina there. And of course, uh, with Iron, got the extra CC from Omus. So that worked out fairly well for pretty quick clear. Pretty, pretty good. I saw some stuff like this um, on other stages too. I saw that um, that strategy in general. I think <laughs> just, uh, given that we have the same enemies here, aside from Reese, who can be really annoying, I would like to try that strategy again, honestly. I would like to try that strategy again, even though I think, yeah, Ulmus is pretty much going to see the back row in a nanosecond, because, uh, yeah, a bit insane. If Reese gets an ult, we are in uh, a world of pain. Reese is, uh, is a problem. But that worked out really, really well. Didn't expect the Ulmus carry here, and that was already stage 20. Stage 20 carried by Ulmus. Um, with a full burst team. I mean, it is, it, is, it is the proper stage for that. It is the proper stage for that, given the up heroes. Um, that is the stage where, where, well, the rest of the team can really shine in terms of damage. And, of course, almost adds a bit to that. And that was also something I mentioned in the review. Um, not really interesting in terms of a tank. The supportability from his Mythic Plus can be interesting. And that is really why they use him here. It's not a, as a tank. As a tank, if you want a tank, use Brutus still. Um, they use him here for the supportability, for the extra time. That he adds to the CC. So if you don't have FM Mythic Plus, that is uh, that is none of your concern. You don't need them. Um, so fairly interesting. We are now able to swipe it. I'm not sure why we only have uh, four Duras tokens. We have some extra Duras tokens here. Extra Duras tokens too. So those should probably be used as well. Warrior Charm. Uh, level 20. Worked out pretty, pretty well. I have to say it's a bit of an easier one though. Because we have Iron Alsa. We have Carolina and Arden in here. Um, we are pretty well equipped. We have even Fresto in here in terms of uh, we really uh, really need to deal some damage. So there are tougher ones. Let's check out the tank one. Um, there the roster in terms of buffed heroes is a little bit, uh, well, let's say less good. 
The main carry will probably be Vala. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. Uh, next stage, starting on the Arena uh, 3 st uh, stage. Kind of annoying, okay. Uh, don't want Brutus on the outside there. That's a bit bad. If Corrin in there, we have Vala in there. I uh, saw some clears with Walker even. Mm, that's really like, oh, it's horrible. Not good. Didn't check if it was a win in 60 seconds or uh, or a nobody can die st uh, stage. Ew. Um, please just nobody die so I don't have to think about it. Oh, these are in. <clears throat> oh, Vala. Vala really insane on those stages. Like every every challenge that has Vala in there, uh, she she just saves it. Really, it is quite insane. Okay, not too insane, but really, win within seventy seconds. So it's it's kind of those stages. Mm, we have this guy over there. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want my Vala anywhere close to this dude. I don't want her anywhere close to this dude. Other than that, hmm. I mean, I'm 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 not too concerned. I'm just concerned about the boar. Really. A bit of a healer would be nice. And if we could get like skill power, that is still a bit of a hack we can do or a cheat we can do. Um we could go for skill power um Brutus and try to cheat a little bit with that. Um so by the way, this boost would have still been okay. If it says like uh, no more than two years defeated, that is still okay. We got an almost one there. HP healing, interesting, not too uh, great actually. We're in the tank challenge now. I'm probably going to sweep for the warrior. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, Satrana is really annoying. Taking our Parisa first. That seems like a good idea. We have Arden in there. Oh yeah, not too fun, I have to say. There is an argument to be made that it would make sense to uh, take out uh, Corrin and put like uh, Damien instead. Uh, and that was the entire stage clearing us. So, bit of a problem there. Santrana really, really annoying. Hmm. Let's try it again. Let's check it out. What can we do? Okay, we have Vala, obviously. We have a Mauler Aura. So we don't really need Corrin. The only thing we would really need Corn for, I, I kind of want to just place him there. Just place him absolutely in the middle. Let's get him pummeled there. And then maybe do like Damien like this. Now let's try that again. Okay, so now we got some energy there. Damien instantly died. Ah, we didn't get the kill fast enough with Ivala. Hmm. That is fairly, fairly annoying. Let's give it another try. Damien didn't work too well for this one this time. I mean, we don't really have to be scared about things dying in a sense. Because it's not really a, a problem for us. Because we can do it. It's, it's, it's no issue. But who do we want to use? We can, of course, try to go for, um, for Nero. Even though I'm not sure that it's entirely worth it. Could use a bit of a sacrifice. Let's do that. Maybe that works a bit better. Really, the goal would be to if we can get the old now. Oh yeah, okay. We got Vala. We got a kill with Vala, so we can get her stealth thing going. Okay, next kill. Very very good. And I mean, the damage isn't really the problem. Vala will take care of your damage needs. That is that is the thing. You just needs to get um, get the time. To do like two, three hits and then an ult to hit one enemy and kill that. So that then then you are fine. HP attack, speed there, HP attack, not too interesting. Attack ultimate strength, though no. Fist and magic death. I wanted to do like a max fist and magic death build for Skalita. So that will be interesting. Definitely one of the more difficult stages, but it still worked out. So now we are facing Seth here. Mm. I like that we attack the Carolina first. We can go Nero. Um Baiting enemy Vala into Atalanta is probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I like the way this looks right now. Maybe we would even switch uh, our, our artifact for this one. But I think we are good. Taking out Carolina first, definitely not a bad idea. You can see, we have to get to like below 50% and... Oh! Oof, 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 oof. Did you see that? 
It was a clean one shot from the enemy Seth. Just one shotting our Vala. Oh, oh, oh. Stage 20. Okay. And for this one, I was a bit surprised. Let's see how other people cleared that. Okay, they went with Atalanta in the front. They took the damage to Brutus. Hit Vala over there. Interesting. With Shark here in the front. So uh that is that is interesting. So we have this. What else did they use? Just want to see Corin. So with Corin blocking up up, uh, up the Brutus, okay. It's interesting. I want to try the same with Santrana. That's giving us a bit more protection bonus there. She can block him for decent-ish amount of time. Ah, not long enough, I'm afraid. Not long enough. Hmm, not long enough. Okay, we have to go for Corin. A bit sad. But yeah, this is like... This is one, definitely one of the tougher stages. We have a lot of mean enemies in this one. But the good thing is we can try it a lot and we don't really lose anything. So this is like a more casual, relaxed way. Okay, let's copy that clear. Mm, didn't copy the artifact. I just wanted to see what works, what doesn't work. Ah, difficult to get through this. Hmm. I, I nearly feel like we don't have enough damage to clear like the the Carolina maybe maybe we should swap our Vala in here make use of our levels where's Vala um yeah I kind of feel like this would probably help and we can maybe even get one more level here just scraping together every bit of power that we can get um and maybe we do go now with the thing that I already described and try to try to maximize our skill power on our brutus so maybe let's let's do that let's go for the swipe a bit earlier than we planned let's go for the swipe now because of course we have warriors here and let me make sure brutus is actually a warrior where is this guy now he's hiding there he is okay yeah indeed he is a warrior and we want to get skill power on this guy so let's let's now try to do our swipe and let's hope we get some skill power treasures for our Brutus, that would be most helpful. So we sweep it, and four Mythic Charms apiece, very, very nice. Not a single one for Brutus, at least not a Mythic Charm. Hmm. But we have another five there, so let's do that. There is some Brutus Charm, it is HP magic, uh, there's no, hmm. Attack crit there, oh, we didn't really get lucky. We didn't really get lucky at all, to be honest. Hmm, that, that is bad. That is really annoying. <laughs> but maybe we got something good for him at least. Somewhere. Maybe we have a chest. We still have chests. Uh, some items will expire. <laughs> Collect. Okay, we have another swipe actually. Which we have to make use of soon. There we have four chests. And nothing again. Oh my god, that is a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, that is a bit annoying. But uh, I mean, we can't magically make our stuff appear. How much skill power do we have on that guy even? That's HP haste. Yeah, that doesn't do much. We don't have a skill power one there. We have a skill power one here, so we have one single skill power charm. This one isn't skill power. So we are a bit unlucky on those, really. Bit of recycling. We can try to go for the charm vendor, but I don't think that will be enough. Let's try with the extra power we already have on Bala. Let's try to do it that way. Um, and yeah, that doesn't require tokens. Which artifact did they use? They went for confining spell, and I can kind of understand that. I was thinking even uh, to go for, for a bit more hasty approach. Vala getting to deal the damage to the um, Carolina is not easy. Oh, that's difficult. I mean, it's a nice idea, it's a nice clear, but I, I want to look at other clears too, because I don't think that's... The final idea. There we have the same. Same again, but they use Evocation spell. Um, that's a bit different. We have Shark here in the middle there. I mean, we didn't really get... Did we get attacked over there? We can try it. But we didn't... We don't do enough damage to the Carolina with Vala. Like, look at that. She's now, like, close to 50%, and at that point we are already pretty much destroyed in the middle which is which is the our biggest problem really we can't live long enough to actually allow her to clear that 
So that is really the biggest problem that we have. Hmm. The question is, how do we solve that? I mean, with the heroes that we have as up heroes, that's rather tough because um, I mean, we could get to a walkhold and maybe stun everybody. <laughs> that is a that is a far cry, though. That is a far cry. Trying to stun everybody with a walker bolt. He just walked over. He's called Walker. Of course, he did exactly that. He walked over there, got stunned, and uh, got, got absolutely destroyed. My God, that was horrible. That was horrible. Did you see that? He walked over there and got destroyed. <sighs> Let's try it. Maybe like this. Let's try it in here. That might be worse, actually. That is so much worse. Hey, absolutely murdering us. Yeah, the Damien toy got immediately one shot in like a nanosecond. Didn't really do anything. Uh, at that point, at least. If we place it over here, maybe. Like the time is here. Look at that. It's like tank still surviving for, for basically nothing. Ah, we switched the position before we were even there. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure we can clear that. We might have to come back for that. So... Didn't really work out too much. How much resonance do the people even have that cleared that? Is it like... It's 560, so it should be possible for us. It's really not low. 560 really isn't low for something like this. Usually if you go for like the lower stages, we are really not overleveled at all. It's like 10 levels over. Okay, this one... How is this the lowest power clear? Oh, it isn't. 530 actually on this one. Let's copy that, because like the evocation spell stuff seems to work a little bit better. Win within 18 seconds, we're dead within 5. <laughs> we're dead within 5. Okay, that's a huge difference with the evocation spell. We get the ult, we get the ult. Oh, oh, we didn't get the kill. I think that can work. That can work, but we didn't get the kill. Hmm. Okay, we'll do like 10 attempts or something, uh, and then we will see if it can work. Okay, it's been another half hour actually, and uh, yeah, it's it's not going away. I don't know, no chance really. The times that I've tried, uh, the closest I've got, that was like only, um, there was only a single hero life that was Brutus, but he had his immunity still, so really didn't help. And in the end, yeah, didn't really work out. I can give it one more try if you guys want. We just got a charm for Bala, by the way. We should probably equip, maybe change something. <laughs> but it's also a little bit of a problem, I reckon. We just don't have enough charms for Vala. And really, the um, the level is quite insane. If you check out the level, it's actually 560, so it's about the same as our heroes. Though then again, in many attempts, it doesn't really change a whole lot if the level is the same. Because we saw in the daily um, fights that like even level 800 can be all right depending on the enemy but here uh, there are multiple things we have like carolina who does aoe stuff arden who does aoe stuff so even if we get a little bit stealthy after the kill with um with uh, vala it doesn't really help also fun fact they placed arden and vala on the same tile there which is uh, kind of interesting i made a little bit of a switch i put uh, corin over there and Sharky over there makes it kind of more consistent that Sharky gets to the old um, but in the end, it doesn't really stop the problem that I have every single time. Um, which is getting the kill on that Carolina. And afterwards getting any kills because she... Even though we try that, Divala still dies. And she's the only remaining hero on the battlefield at that point. So, yeah. Can be very, very difficult to get to 20. I reckon if we had like a little bit more um, resonance there, we could clear it. We can open the chest and then I think it's enough for today. Thank you guys for watching, uh, I want to say already, an almost charm there, and we got every Lulon charm in existence. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already, make also, also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, I made the second channel if you want to check out Idle Heroes and maybe some other games, we're going to do that there, Red Gacha, I'll put the link down in the description, and uh, well, till then, I wish you a great day, and we'll see us in the next one.